Hello there. My name is Robert West. I am Radio Bob, and I am talking today about Radio Bob, which is an online radio station that plays premium music that is ad-free for the most part, donation only or sponsorship driven. It will eventually, and part of this video is to explain that, be part of 501c3, which is destined to help people do two things. One, learn ways to heal others that are not covered by normal scholarships, foundations, and functions. And two, return people back to a way to communicate. I appreciate very much that you're watching this video today or listening to the sound of my voice. But the most important thing eventually will be to ask you to not watch as many videos, listen to the sound of my voice, listen to the people on our radio station for their helpful and healing content and the options that they present so that you will learn to communicate again in your daily lives with others. And that is the intent of our station. The reason why we play great music is to keep you interested and keep you coming back. And the reason why we're going to put on different shows at night is to keep you interested and keep you coming back so that you use our station as a reference point and a platform to regain the ability that we all used to have on a daily basis to communicate, which now seems lost. Now, I know that seems rather strange when you say, well, Radio Bob, you're using online technology and digital technology to tell us to talk to each other again. And the answer is, yes, I am because I'm hoping that you'll play my station at your job. I'm hoping that you'll play my station in your car. I'm hoping that you'll play my station when you are cleaning out the garage. And I'm hoping that somewhere during the day in one of those quick three to five minute tips or a promotion for a show that we're gonna have later on that evening, you'll come back and listen and gain something of value and spread some joy to other people by paying it forward and letting them know that we can talk to each other again without screaming at each other, without protesting, without throwing things. We need to return to healing. Why is this important? It's important because everything revolves around communication and our health. If we don't have those two items, we can't fix the problems of the planet. We can't discuss the problems that we have politically, morally, mentally, environmentally. We can't even get close to them. And I've met so many people where I go in and I try to explain something to them or ask a question, and the level of difference in communication is so far gone that it just takes forever to get the answer. We're so used to looking in our phones. We'll Google it, we'll search it, we'll find it somewhere, we'll watch this video, we'll move on. Well, that's great, but what we're not doing is communicating. I'm talking into a camera, you're watching me, we're not communicating. Radio Bob's gonna change that because what we're offering are courses, one-on-one -on -one sessions, and live DJ and call-in shows eventually to help you get back to talking to people again. We have professional people like Rich Lop, like um, Ryan J. Hopper, Katrina Rosbold, Eric Rosbold, who are really good at getting people talking again and finding ways to center your being so that you will talk again. And that is what we're all about. And that is what our foundation will be about. But it's gonna take time to bring it together. And the only way it's gonna happen is if you participate. That's the most important thing. You have to give us feedback. You have to tell others about the station. You have to become a donating patron so that you can take advantage of the services and talk to us again. If you decide not to and just listen, you get to do that. But remember, we need a certain amount of all of you to band together to be patrons or sponsors for our station so that we can continue to provide the healing aspects that you're hearing and offer the scholarships and other ways to help other individuals. Because without you, 
we can't help them. And that's why we're starting this station. And it's become very personal because I've learned that working in business, when I work in a situation where I work with the same four people on 20 acres every day, they're, they're all the people I see. But when I travel out, I meet all sorts of different people. And I've noticed that people are very much, they're struggling to make ends meet and they're struggling mentally and they're struggling physically and we need to be involved but we don't need to disrupt their lives we need to be involved but we don't need to dwell deep into their problems but we can communicate in a good way in an honest way in an open way and that will start to relieve some of the pressures and maybe they can find their center and you can find your center a little easier that is part of this health and healing prospect. Why? It's become overwhelming for some people. They go online, they can't find what they're looking for. It's frustrating. They get on the phone and they have to know the proper codes and which button to push. And if they miss it, they have to wait a minute and a half. Add to this that 43% of all psychiatric professionals have left the profession in the last two years in the United States. You can't get an appointment to talk to a psychoanalyst or a psychotherapist in this country without a serious amount of money in your pocket or having already known one. It's almost impossible. And video phone calls, folks, they're not going to help these people. We have to start picking up the slack. We've let too many people fall through the cracks. It's time to say to each other, it's time to help. That doesn't mean it's going to work with everybody. I have, I have friends in my life I don't want to be involved with. I get that. I can't help them. And I'm not sure I can help anyone else. And I thought about just helping one person. But then I explained this to my wife with the idea of the radio station, the foundation, is to eventually say, why am I just trying to help one person? Let's just help the planet. But we're going to start with the USA. The last thing before I finish up this video is I'd like to tell you about the one that got lost. So the one that got lost is very personal. It's somebody who found themselves in an avenue of their life, I feel, that they felt that they couldn't get out of and they couldn't change and they couldn't share it. So they decided to end their possibilities. It's the nicest way to say that. I'm not sure if that's what happened. but. I think that their lifestyle drove them into an abyss to where they felt that there was no way out. And even though they had people they were trying to talk to, those people were more reaffirmed in the world that that person was in. And that's what happens is that we live. We live and we communicate within our tribes. And reinforcement of our situation, no matter how bad it is, feels good to us. So. We tend to want that more than somebody telling us to brush our hair or zip up our pants or tie our shoes or whatever it happens to be on that daily basis as we go from infancy to manhood. So, and it, it goes for everybody, right? Because of this, we tend to strive and hang out with people that reinforce our beliefs. But because that happens, because we listen to that, because we pay attention to those news stations or we pay attention to those other people, we don't hear the opposing views and we don't know there's a hole in the back of our pants. We don't know our flies unzipped. We don't know our hair is out of place. We don't, we don't know any of it because all of our friends won't tell us. They need their friends too. So when people are depressed, sad, and feel that they have no avenue for reproach and they try to call for services and help and then they can't get it, their, their possibility to them is probably checking out and I've seen it enough for the last time. And so that's why this station's kind of reasonably important to me and, and why I'm doing these videos is to let you know that um, this section, this playlist that you're going to watch that explains all this um, is important and I want other people to find it. So when I ask them to help me get a hold of people, which I'm going to do in one more video, it's called What I Need, um, you'll see why that is. Um, 
This is not a fly-by-night deal. This is not a this is not a Nigerian business deal where you put some money in the bank and I put some money in the bank. We all make millions. No, it's not going to happen. But if we can save one person together, if we can get a few people talking, if we can get somebody to go to a Ren fair and have a great day or go to a car show and have a great day or come home from a cooking festival and say, wow, that was really cool. You know, 12 months ago I heard about, you know, barbecuing, comp competition barbecuing on a radio station. Now I do it all the time and it's just great fun and it centers me. Then that's a victory for us. We just want to be the on the air to do it. So uh, any assistance that obviously you can give to help us heal others is grateful. Thank you very much. On behalf of RadioBobUSA.com, Radio Bob, R West Video, YouTube West, Bob West, Yasmin West, and the staff of friendly volunteer energy workers.